All right, everyone, welcome back for another story tonight. We're going to read The Return of Thelma the Unicorn. As always, we'll give people just a, a minute or so to get on here with us, and then we'll get going. So, parents, I was trying to post a website for you, um, for anyone who's had uh, possibly a job loss or anything like that during this time. There's a, a website out there, and I can't remember the name of it now, but if you Google... Um, unemployment benefits and things like that it will come up i was trying to load it earlier but so many people were on there i couldn't get it to load but there's that information out there if you need it um also as you know all the meals right now are free for you guys to pick up um they're doing it twice a week right now so that, that it doesn't matter if you're on free and reduced lunch or if you pay full price lunch anybody can get it for free right now so take advantage of that too so you might have the first film of the unicorn yep we did. We read the first Thelma the Unicorn. Um, I read that story to a lot of you guys at the beginning of the year. I think, did we read that to kindergarten? Or did we do Edwina the Emu? I don't remember. I think we did Edwina we did the Emu. Okay, this might have been to first and second grade. I'm not sure. So, All right. Well, this is The Return of Thelma the Unicorn. All right, Sissy, can you scoot over just a little? Hopefully, you guys will be able to see it. Good enough. missing if you guys remember in the first book Thelma was a, a regular um, horse and then she found this carrot and turned into a unicorn with some pink paint and some glitter because she really wanted to be a unicorn she did all right Thelma felt a little shocked in fact she felt quite torn you see she'd made the whole world sad we missed our unicorn it says where is Thelma any information, please call 1-800-THELMA. Thelma, please come back. From every corner of the earth, her fans did wail and cry. Thelma, Thelma, please come back. Why did you leave us? Why? And here it has an international candlelight vigil for Thelma. Days without Thelma, nine. Thelma's best friend, Otis, and her all-time greatest fan, said, gee, they really miss you. We should help them if we can. Help them, blurted Thelma. You mean dress up like before? They don't need phony unicorns of that, I am quite sure. But Otis shook his shaggy head and said, I think they do. You're not phony, you're the best, and what they miss is you. You made people happy. They felt cheerful for a while. Who cares if it's a costume? Thelma, you made people smile. There's nothing wrong with make-believe. You can be a star. As long as you remember what you love and who you are. But last time it was scary. Oh, and some of them were mean. Well, this time you'll have backup. I am here for you, my queen. See down here, somebody had put unicornsardumb.com. That is so mean. They shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Keep your comments. But I don't have my outfit. How can I disguise my face? Otis said, I kept this and some glitter just in case. So just like that, they hit the road. They barely stopped to pack. They both had lots of work to do. The unicorn was back. The whole wide world was overjoyed. Her fans all went berserk. But this time, Thelma had her friend, and that's what made it work. So Otis is with her this time. He's her bestie. bestie. Her fabulousness exploded like a joyful glitter bomb. While Otis cheered her from the wings, Girl, get your sparkle on! Lives were changed, and fun was had, and love was in the air. And at the end of every day, her friend was always there. They raised money for charity. That's such a big number. I don't even really know what it is, but it's got a lot of zeros. They went skiing. Aww. Otis watched her spread the love. He felt so very proud. So when those mean old haters came to mock or diss or scoff, she felt so brave and happy she could always shake it off. 
she didn't care about their your unicorns or ugly signs anymore. And on days off, they cuddle up beneath their favorite tree. And Otis would recite these words as Thelma smiled with glee. The world may not be perfect. Yes, a rose may have its thorns. But one thing is for certain, the world needs unicorns. Ooh, look at that. I agree. The world does need unicorns. So I haven't seen one except on the pages of a book. So if you guys see any, you need to let me know where I can find a unicorn, okay? All right. I hope you enjoyed our story tonight. Have a great evening, and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 7. Thank you. Stay healthy. <laughs>